Hey everyone, it's Richard, and today we are playing episode 4 of Impact Winter. Um, we're gonna dive into some more quests, try to get some more RP, try to knock down our rescue timer here. Um, we're only on day 3. Um, hopefully we can bust through this game a little faster. I'm gonna try to bust through some more quests a little quicker this, this episode. Um, I said I was gonna upgrade the furnace, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. We've already got two of the parts, we should have to go find the other one. And I didn't read what they were just then, so we'll figure it out. Sorry I didn't do an episode yesterday, I was uh, a little too busy. My uh, Heroes were getting close to finals, my semester was getting a little crazy, and then I'm, I'm working like five days a week too, so... Making a video every single day may not be completely possible, we'll see. Doing what I can. Uh, once we load out here, we'll see what that other item was, and we'll go get it. We'll get this furnace upgraded so we can, uh, it won't burn as fast, I suppose. I don't know if the time's just gonna go up from the 24-hour burn time we have, or if it's just gonna burn slower from 24, you know? We'll see. Um, okay, we've got the bolts, we've got the pipe, we need a large can and a center block. So based on our radar here, we are heading north. Okay. <clears throat> it's still heavy snow. We still... As you can see on the corners of the screen, they kind of turn icy looking too. Okay, what do we got here? A new stranger has been discovered and added to Echo Lot's radar. I left my supplies here last night. I thought they'd be safe. The weather must have blown them away and buried them. Can you help me find them? Okay, all we gotta do is scan, I reckon. Okay, they didn't find anything, I don't think. Hang on. Okay, it's a big area we can kind of look around in. Still nothing, okay. Okay, I've got a dig spot up here. Controller vibrates like crazy when that drill's going off. I don't even think this is that guy's stuff, or else it would probably have those things on it, right? I don't reckon we need any of this stuff. I'm gonna take that and that, just because they're like valuables. Hang on, what did the quest say we were specifically looking for for him? Oh, just stranger supplies, that's all it says. Okay, we've got another dig spot. I don't want to run his battery down right here. But I guess we're going to have to to find this. Stranger supplies, here we go. Let's go ahead and return those to old boy, and then we'll get moving on with our quest. Kristoff's energy has dropped too low, 25. See, we were, we were talking about that last episode, how everybody's energy was dropping really low and they weren't sleeping. I guess we're going to find out this episode, based on just time. Uh, whether or not they're going to sleep on their own, or if I have to do something. I'm hoping they just sleep on their own, I don't see why they wouldn't. Sweet, so we just leveled up. Four hour and 20 minute time reward off our rescue timer. Knocks that down to 27, 10, 50. Now we can unlock a new roll. Arguments will never occur within the team, but the energy drains faster. Well see, I'm still thinking that the energy, they just sleep, don't they? 
do we have to like feed them something to boost their energy? They've all had good morale. I've not had any arguments yet either though. I'm gonna just hit Peacekeeper here. That one sounds most appealing to me, I guess. Use a radio battery to activate it. So I can come back here with a radio battery. We have, we have, I think we have some at home. Back at the church. And come back here with a radio battery. Okay, let's go get these last pieces. I want to get this furnace upgraded. Getting close. What are these? Oh shit, are they after me? I think those were like wolves that will hunt me. Oh Jesus, yeah, they're after me. Can I fight them? Go inside, go inside. Okay, I think I escaped to the snow cave fast enough. So yeah, I don't know if I need to... If there's any way I can carry a weapon on me to melee them with. They just gave me the option to wiggle off. I could like shake the left stick, but I'd already hit eight into the snow cave, so I left it. Um, interesting, yeah. We are safe within our snow cave, at least. More bottle caps. Don't know why I'd want rotten food. Okay. Okay, we got some rifle ammo now. Maybe we'll find a gun. Ice cooler, basketball, large plank. I don't think I need planks for anything or not. Meat cooked, meat scraps cooked, and coal. I know his battery's low. So I don't remember what the game said happened if his battery runs all the way out. I don't know if maybe he returns home when I'm like stuck in the dark without him or something. I'm just grabbing all the bottle caps I can. I'll have to get the quest for that traveler, that uh, traveling tradesman, whatever he was. Nomad. Blaine's energy is down to 25. I'll grab that spark plug just because I don't know if I may need it and it only takes up one spot anyway. Nothing there. Is this stuff already searched? I don't think so. Wendy's energy is down to 25. I've already got the bolts I need, but that's just some extra you know here's the large can I need okay hopefully we're getting close to the last part cinder block Jesus that takes up a lot of room okay let's uh eat the meat okay I think we can move this here move this over here and now we have room to squeeze that in there yeah we do sweet um all right we'll keep looking around a little bit before we head out of here i guess we don't really have that much inventory room anyway
grab this cereal bar energy tablets multivitamins alright inventory is full we're gonna get out of here there's no sense in staying here echo lights running low on battery anyway I think I had an extra um, small tent back at the church. I would like to set up another campsite because the other one's over toward the left side of the map. I'd like to get one to the right at least. That way we have some different outposts we can go to to get shit organized. Wolf droppings, why the hell would I want that? Raw meat scraps, bone fragment. No thanks. See, ain't nothing I can. I don't know what to do when those pop up. I think that was just like a rabbit or something that ran out of the ground. Exit snow cave. Hopefully, those wolves aren't out here waiting on me. That would be unfortunate to say the least. It's more effective to have. Never mind. It doesn't want me to read the hints. Okay, so signpost markers could help me get back home when I don't have echo light. I guess echo light's also my map, you know, as he's the radar. So without him, I probably can't find my way back home. Interesting. Well, he's already running low. Hopefully, we don't run out. Of, don't we, we don't lose him? Even though we're just pretty much straight south of here. Okay, it's still highlight in the area, but I think that's just to like tell us we, we've got everything. Yeah, let's check out the map. Are we closer to our campsite? Is that our campsite over there on the left? It sure is. Let's just hit this thing up. We're gonna test it out and see how the campsite works. We're gonna send the materials back and then see if we can make her craft it without us being there. I don't remember if Echo Light can charge at the campsites or not, or if he has to go to the church. I'm hoping he can at the campsites. If not, I may end up finding my way back to the church without him. Because he's down to 13 now. Okay, let's hit up this deposit box. Let's just, uh... Okay, I think we have to sleep. Let's um We'll just take the meat scraps back, and move that over. Oh, I can still do the meat eh, forget it, whatever. That was useless. We got ten minutes of warmth. Okay, their, their energy's going up, so they're sleeping too. Okay. It just warns me that they're low. Okay, so it did send it back. Echo Light's here. He charged a little bit. He's up to 20. We can do this. Now it's dark too, though, so if had he died, we'd be really screwed. Because not only would we not have a radar, it would be pitch black. And it's snowing really heavy. Oh yeah, we were going to test and see if we could... Crafting. Who does it, Maggie? Furnace small? I don't think I can ever do it from here. Whatever. We're heading to the church anyway. We're gonna see what the furnace will do for us. Jacob's temperature has dropped low 25. I hope the temperature doesn't affect us too much. It is negative 43 degrees Celsius outside right now. It just jumped up to negative 36. 
I guess it'll change every time I say something. We're getting close to the church, though. I'm, uh, hopefully the, yeah, like I was saying, hopefully the snow doesn't have too much of a detrimental effect on the, on the character. I'm not really sure what it does affect. The church. Now we're loading into the church. Um, we'll get this furnace built. We will, um... I don't know how many bottle caps I just got. I may have like 10, 15 now. We need 50. It's pretty ridiculous, but I guess we, we may find it while we're searching for other stuff. If a team member is depressed, so if the, if the morale gets too low, they, they will leave the church. They'll be unhappy and they'll just go. But I think I've kept everybody pretty happy so far. I hope I didn't just like waste that, putting that stuff in there since we're about to upgrade it anyway. Wake up. Okay, it's not letting me, uh go up to crafting probably because she's asleep but she's just like about to wake up she's at 98 there we go Let's see all right woman time to work sweet let's get this small furnace while she's doing that because the time still counts down while you're paused. You can't actually pause it. Your fire's still burning, your time's still counting down. Um, I'm not really super worried about the recipes, honestly. Let's do signal zone test. And actually, let's go down here. Check what everybody's food's at. So they've all eaten everything. Oh shit, and their food's low too. Okay. Kristoff's not eating anything. He's still got both of his there. I guess they all want water too, huh? I guess that should be fine. Hannibal, knock it off. Hannibal's back there making a bunch of noise. Okay. Let's grab the radio battery. We may go up and do that uh, antenna we seen. That radio tower, whatever it is. I think everything in this miscellaneous category is simply for like trading with the nomads, kind of like the bottle caps. Let's go ahead and take this campsite tent. We'll set up a new camp. God, I feel like I'm filling up my inventory. Probably don't need to do this, do we? No. Let's, uh... Nah, I'm not gonna let Echo Light run out. And I'm not gonna worry about the tent right now. We'll carry the radio battery on us just in case. We'll leave it to that. I wanna be able to grab, uh... More supplies. I just gave them like some bottles of water and some more food, so we're running kind of low. All right, well the furnace is going to take a little bit, probably due to the fact that she has the careful, careful worker thing on, that makes her um, craft times take longer. But she can't be injured while crafting. I think the safety of my team is the most important thing right now. 
Um, what did we say we were going to do? Take the signal booster from storage. Okay, I need to go back and grab that. And travel to the designated area. Echo lights antenna will pulsate red. When the light turns green. So I get. I bet the reason in the very first episode we found the flashing red spot and we couldn't do anything with it. So I bet this signal booster is necessary for it to turn on green and for us to find the dig spot or whatever. So let's exit church. Echo lights fully charged. My energy's full. We'll uh, figure this out. Okay, sweet. Maggie can unlock the ability to craft a ski do. This makes your vehicle allows you to, tra to traverse the world much quicker, but takes valuable fuel to power. So, if we get to that point where we have enough fuel, I can be driving the ski do around the map like it's nothing. Now let's see if the the spot he wants us to go for this quest is the same as the one south of us, and it's not. We're heading east. Let's do it to it. I'm glad to say this graveyard's still empty. I don't know if... I, don't, like, I, I still don't know if you can lose people. I'm hoping I don't find out. A scavenger come by and it's like, Oh, two of your people died. <laughs> Sorry. I'm really hoping that doesn't happen, but um, you never know. So I think this one's like pretty far. Oh, we're getting close. Look at me. I uh, know. I know nothing. Also, what I don't know is how to use the signal signal booster once we are here. down and across the bridge I guess do we think it'll be in the middle of this here I'm not sure if I need to do this and go across this bridge or just go around because this part's only on the edge of the circle who knows let's um hopefully I don't waste my s oh never mind we have to wait till it starts uh, pulsating red remember I'm glad I didn't do anything and waste something I, I would have needed. We're just going to go around the bottom side of this. Impact crater. Point of interest. So it said like the reason we're in this post-apocalyptic scenario is because an asteroid hit the earth and plunged us into this ice age. And this is an impact crater. Is this where the asteroid itself hit? Okay, we're here. Do I need to do something with the signal booster? No, I think just having it on me. Maybe. to make him pulse it was flashing the hardest back there but like I couldn't do anything Alright, I'm getting frustrated again. 
these uh, red pulsating lights that don't tell me anything to do. See the signal booster. It just gives me an option to move it. It doesn't tell me what to do with it. Let's go back and read the event. Um, take the signal booster from storage and travel to the designated area. Echo Light's antenna will pulsate red when you're close, getting faster as you approach the signal's hotspot. When the light turns green, use your signal booster to complete your mission. When which light turns green? Will the pulsating turn green? Or... I'm not sure what's supposed to turn green. Maybe the light on the booster itself here in the menu? Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing, people. Pulse is slower out here. It couldn't be like up on the bridge, could it? Because it's a dig spot. And it gets slower up there. It's like right around this supporting beam of the bridge here. Then it gets weaker as I head this way. Okay, y'all, I have no idea what to do. The pulse doesn't help me. Well, since this isn't making any fucking sense, I'm gonna walk around here. On top of the bridge, just because. Because, like, that doesn't make any sense, because I think I'm looking for a dig spot. Can I even get up here? Where's the spot to climb up this bridge? Well, I was planning on busting out a bunch of quests this game. It looks like I'm just going to waste a lot of time looking for this damn signal. I would Google it, but like, I feel like that's not the way to be. It's still pulsating up here. Maybe it's maybe it is up here. It sure as hell is. Okay, it says to use the signal booster. Place. Signal zone activated, timer reduced by three hours. Leveled up, which is going to reduce it even more by four hours and 30 minutes. Okay, sweet. So we was on the bridge anyway. I thought we were looking for a, like a dig spot for some reason. Oh, uh, we got it. Awesome. We're down to 26, eight, 18. 26, 8, 18. We got two more rolls available to choose from. Morale increases when working. Energy drains faster when working. Health regains faster. Food and drink items are less effective. I've not had anybody lose health yet, really. I don't think for any reason. And like, I don't want food and drink items to be less effective. I don't really like this one either though. I mean, it is what it is. There are, many, there are many radio masts located around the void. Unfortunately, each radio mast requires a radio battery for power. However, there's a high probability of finding these inside the Nelson power vanes scattered around the void. So the void... I'm, I'm, I don't know if they mentioned that before or not. Because I tried to read most of the dialogue. 
So I've been calling it the wilderness, the the winter, the whatever, the void is what we're calling the uh, outdoors. I will try to remember that. Any radio mass should work, but this fierce weather has revealed one close to the church that could make a good test. There's even a van at the base. Enter the broken fence, search the van for a radio battery, and try to power that mast. Okay, um, I'd already brought a radio battery with me because I was planning on doing one of those anyway. So now that it's a quest, that's even better. Okay, so we're figuring things out. Um, that still don't make sense because the last time when Echo Light was pulsating south of the church, I, um, I hunted all around that. I never got a green light. So I don't know if I have to have a signal booster on me to get a green light, or if I had to wait for that quest to kind of open that door to me. Who knows? But this uh, this signal tower isn't too far away. We'll just go ahead and snag it up. Ah, humbug. The void. Yeah, I don't think it's mentioned in that until just then. That's interesting. So we are out here in the void. I guess this is this the stranger still right here outside this? Yeah, he's just chilling here. I wonder if I can still talk to him. No, but I can search his dig spots here, but they're all empty. Yeah, because he couldn't find anything. Well, he said there'd be an extra battery here anyway. Let's go ahead and take that. I don't know if we need those. Probably not. I don't know if I should hit A and it climb on its own or if I had to do it, but I have to hold up on the on the left stick to climb. Am I climbing all the way to the top? Oh, place battery. Nice. Three more hours off our rescue timer. Sweet. Speak to Kristoff about the next steps. So we got 500 RP for that. We're just 75 away from the next level. That'll be another four hours and something off. It's going up like 10 minutes every time. So like it was four hours and 10 minutes off, then four hours and 20. That one was just four hours and 30. So the next one might be four hours and 40. That was just informing us of the radio mass. We already know what we're doing there. I think this is probably the same traveling nomad guy. Yeah, nomad. Yeah, I've not got 50 bottle caps. What did, I, what did the dialogue say? Oh. Bottle caps, bring them to me. For some reason I've seen bring them to me or die. And I was kind of worried, but you know. It never said that. We are going to check our events. So radio masts and signal, bu signal zones are now um, kind of like pa passive quests. I can do them whenever. They're not going to be like these main stories. I've got to speak to Kristoff or speak to Maggie about updating theirs. Um, where is Blaine's quest on the map? Okay, it's on the other side of the church. We're just going to head down to the church for now. We're going to kind of dump off the, our inventory when they uh, rest up, eat a little bit. Get restocked for the next episode, maybe. Actually, I may go ahead and talk to Kristoff and Maggie too, and go ahead and get their um their next quest opened up. Because right now we're just in like a waiting stage. We'll go ahead and talk to them and see what they want to do next. So I started this episode off at day three, and I've done like enough leveling up and enough signal boosting stuff that we're almost to day five, I think. If we're not to day five already, I think we were just a couple hours away. Okay, so this is at 17 hours and it's only like halfway full, so I'm assuming 
that it can go up 36 hours rather than 24. So upgrading to the small furnace added 12 hours onto our fuel timer here. Let's talk to Kristoff here. Prior to the asteroid, I had a lot of data stored on BirdTech Dynamics BDXXX program. Data that would be beneficial to us right now. If I could access the information, I could make further improvements to Ecolite's firmware. I was working from a small basement on Pembroke Street, beyond the airport to the north. Maybe you and Ecolite could find and reclaim the data. My server room is locked, but I buried the key close to some rocks to the north of the house. Bring back my server panel, but be warned, it's big and will take up most of your inventory space. So plan accordingly. Okay, so that's going to be an obnoxious quest, because we have to go find the key, which is way on the other side of this airport. And then we have to get in there, and then it's going to take up basically all of our inventory room. Hang on, where are you going, woman? I need to talk to you. Well, it almost exited the church trying to talk to her. Talk to Maggie. Okay. Jacob, my father's auto shop is to the north. I spent many a summer, I hate that, many a summer experimenting with different builds and helping repair cars there. I haven't returned since the asteroid hit, but now could be a good time. Okay, since she's talking about repairing cars, maybe this is going to have to do with the ski -doo? Hopefully, yeah. Blueprints. My father kept his blueprints locked away inside the garage, and they could come in useful for unlocking new designs and powering this place. He had some great designs for portable generators. The blueprints were stored inside his locker, and hopefully they're still there. Should be a key hidden in the garage somewhere. So I guess we're not quite to the Skidoo thing yet. This is, um, talking about portable generators. Take this old notebook. I've drawn you a crude map of where our garage is located. I've also added some instructions of what to do once you find those blueprints. Sweet. Okay. So we've got the quests updated from them. How are my stats? Pretty low on water, a little low on food. Warming up now that I'm back inside the church. Let's transfer this stuff out of the inventory. Let's, um... Eat, eat. Eat. Drink. And drink. Okay, we went ahead and filled up that stat as well. We'll go up here and sleep. And when we sleep, we'll save the game. We'll actually leave this episode here. Um, I'm glad we figured out the damn beacons. That red pulsating thing was getting on my nerves. I don't really know what I was doing. But, um, we figured it out. I think by... No, we're still in day four. Okay. I thought we just, like, cycled into a new day, so I thought we were on five. But, um, yeah, we'll leave that there. We're, uh, 25 days, 21 hours, 40 minutes. We're counting down here. Um, thank you for watching this episode. In the next episode, we'll probably, um, do more of Kristoff's and Maggie's quests. I need to get more food, too. We're kind of lo running low here. Um, but both of theirs are to the north, so we can head up past the airport and take care of Kristoff's, then head by Maggie's father's garage to collect that stuff. And we'll get it done, yeah. Um, I guess 25 days to go. Almost 26 days to go. Um, I may end up cutting the, the newer episodes I do and trying to make them shorter. I feel like we're, going, we're basically going one day per episode so far and it's going to take 30 episodes if uh if y'all like that we keep doing that um saves me editing i feel like i like to, i like to talk while i'm running around anyway um but yeah we will leave this here for now thank you for watching if you're enjoying me playing impact lot please uh leave a like comment chat with me i'll comment back um and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video